Welcome to TechLogix. In this guide, we will walk you through setting up the Esviz mobile app to add the Esviz HB8 4G battery-powered outdoor camera, ensuring smooth operation and full connectivity. We cover everything from downloading and installing the Esviz mobile app on your device to registering a user account and signing in. Next, you'll configure your camera's 4G network by following the app's prompts to establish a stable mobile internet connection. Finally, add the Esviz HB8 camera to the app by scanning its QR code or manually entering its serial number. By following these steps, you'll be able to set up your camera confidently, providing reliable surveillance and seamless connectivity via the app. Before starting to configure or add the camera to the Esviz mobile app, install the storage and SIM cards by powering off the camera to prevent potential damage. Carefully lift the lens to access the card slots at the bottom, and use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the protective cap. The slots are designed for easy access, with the micro SD slot on top and the SIM card slot below. Insert the micro SD card into the top slot, ensuring it fits snugly and clicks into place. For extended recording, choose a high-quality card supporting up to 512GB, which can store approximately 10 to 15 days of footage depending on your recording settings. Then, insert the SIM card into the bottom slot, aligning it properly with the indicated orientation. Once both cards are securely in place, reattach the protective cover and power on the camera to begin configuration. To download and install the Esvis app, start by opening the Play Store on your smartphone or tablet. Use the search bar at the top to type Esvis and locate the app in the search results, making sure it is the version developed by Esvis Incorporated. Tap on the app to open its page and click the Install button, accepting any permissions if prompted. The download will begin, and the installation will proceed automatically once the process is complete. This typically takes a few minutes. Once installed, you can launch the app directly by tapping Open or by finding the icon on your home screen or app drawer. When you open the app for the first time, you'll be asked to select your region. Choosing the correct country is important for optimal performance and connectivity with local servers. After setting your region, the Esvis app is ready for use with your Esvis camera. If you already have an Esvis account, simply log in by entering your phone number or email address and your password on the login screen, then tap Login. For new users, you'll need to register an account. On the login screen, select the registration option and choose between email or mobile number for registration. If you choose email, enter your email address and create a strong password that includes a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Complete a CAPTCHA verification to confirm you're not a robot, then check your email for the verification code sent by the app. Enter this code in the appropriate field in the app to verify your email address. You can also link your phone number to your account for easier login in the future, allowing you to sign in using your phone number instead of your email. For added security, the app offers options to enable face recognition or biometric authentication, such as fingerprint scanning, if your device supports these features. Activating these options provides an extra layer of security, ensuring that only you can access your account and camera settings. This registration and login process secures your account while allowing convenient management of your Esvis camera through the app. To start adding the Esvis 4G camera to the app, it's important to keep the camera near your phone during the initial setup. Once everything is configured, you can move the camera to your desired location. To power it on, press and hold the power button for 3 to 5 seconds until you hear a confirmation voice prompt or see the blue LED indicator, which shows the camera is turned on. After the camera boots up, it will announce the network connection mode and the connection status to the Esvis platform. Start tap successful. SIM card inserted. Please make sure it is a valid card. Connection successful. Platform.
form registration failed. Please check the help information in application. Note, sometimes, the voice prompt may say, platform registration fail, even if the network connection is successful. In this case, it's okay. Try proceeding with the setup and see what happens next. To add the camera in the ESVIS app, simply tap on Add Device or the plus symbol, then select the device type as Camera to scan a QR code. The app will request permission to access your photos, which is necessary for using your device's camera scanner effectively. After granting permission, locate the QR code on your camera, typically found on a sticker on its body. Hold your smartphone so that the QR code is clearly visible to the camera scanner, and the app will automatically recognize and process it. This QR code contains essential identification and configuration information for the camera. Once scanned, the app will guide you through the next steps, such as confirming the camera is powered on, the SIM pin is unblocked, and connecting the camera to the 4G network. If the app is unable to add the camera and displays the error, configuring network failed, this may be related to the earlier voice prompt that said, platform registration fail. This issue occurs because the camera is attempting to connect to the ESVIS server in a plug-and-play manner for the 4G network, but the connection was not successful. To resolve this, you need to reset the camera and retry the network setup. To reset the camera, reset locate successful. the reset button near the storage slot, press and hold it for up to 5 seconds until you hear the voice prompt saying, reset successfully. After the reset, Try reconnecting the camera to the ESVIS server through the app to establish a proper connection and enable mobile app access. SIM card inserted. Please make sure it is a valid card. Connection successful. Platform registration successful. Now, the voice prompts, platform registration successful, indicating that the camera has been automatically connected to the ESVIS server. Tap the Retry button in the app to complete the process and add the camera to your ESVIS app account. Once the setup is successful, the app will display the message, Device is added successfully, confirming that the camera is ready to use. You may also see an option to Save Device QR Code, allowing you to store the camera's QR code on your mobile device for future reference, especially useful if the camera body QR code label gets scratched or tampered with. By default, audio recording is either enabled or disabled, but you can manually toggle this setting based on your preferences. Additionally, the app provides options to adjust date and time settings, including selecting your preferred date format. During installation, you might be prompted to change the encryption password. Enter a strong, secure password that you can share with trusted individuals or use with third-party applications. This password helps keep your camera secure while enabling controlled access, ensuring your live feed remains protected from unauthorized users. Next, you may need to select the working mode of your camera based on your specific needs. This setting is especially important for battery-powered cameras, as it helps conserve power depending on how you are using the camera, whether connected to a solar panel for charging or powered via USB. For demonstration purposes, we choose the, the standard mode, in which the camera is triggered by movement detection and records only during these events, while remaining in sleep mode when idle. This mode is ideal when connected to solar panels, as it prevents continuous monitoring and conserves battery life. If you require constant surveillance with live video feed access, you can select the AOV mode, always on video, which keeps the camera streaming continuously. After selecting the appropriate mode, tap Next to proceed and complete the basic configuration options. When setting up your camera for the first time, you may be prompted to Initialize the installed memory card. Simply tap on Initialize to format the card for recording video footage. This step can also be performed later through the camera settings if necessary. To check the status of your memory card, Go to the camera settings, then navigate to the record list and select storage medium. If the card appears as uninitialized, select storage medium again and tap the initialize button. Once initialized successfully, the status will update to in use and the storage capacity will be displayed. You can view recorded footage by switching to the SD card storage view in the app with the camera set to record motion detection or event triggered clips. 
This mode can be customized to suit your preferences. All these features are easily accessible via the ESVIS app, which works smoothly over both mobile data and Wi-Fi around the globe. This allows you to monitor your property in real time, whether you're at home, work, or traveling. For detailed guidance on various settings and functionalities, consider exploring the additional segments of this video series, which provide comprehensive explanations to help you maximize your camera's capabilities. After successfully configuring the 4G connection and adding the camera to the ESVIS app, the next step is to install the camera in its designated location. Proper placement ensures optimal monitoring of your target area. Once installed, the camera is fully operational, offering features such as live streaming to view real-time footage directly from your smartphone or tablet no matter where you are. The playback feature allows easy review of recorded clips, so you can revisit events that occurred during your absence. Additionally, the PTZ, pan tilt zoom, control gives you the flexibility to remotely adjust the camera's angle and zoom in for a closer view, enhancing your surveillance capabilities. If you found this video helpful, we sincerely appreciate your support. Your contributions enable us to create more informative content and continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether by liking the video, sharing it with others, or subscribing to our channel, Every bit of support makes a meaningful difference. Thank you for being part of our community.